G'day, g'day, g'day. My name is Static Fism, your local bearded Minecrafter. And I've been busy. I've been quite busy. I've built a pumpkin farm and melon farm. So we've got melons on this side and we've got pumpkins on this side. This is a design by Nims Tutes. Or Nims TV, sorry. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this. It is really efficient. It's like one of the most efficient waterless uh, melon pumpkin farms that is out there. Um, it is genuinely, genuinely excellent. It's tileable upwards, it's tileable left and right. You can stack them up against each other this way if you want. They are rather neat. I quite like it. And actually this is quite efficient. I was going to build more up, but I decided against that because it's already actually efficient enough as it is. Um, and when I'm spending time in the base, um, it should be going more than just sufficiently. So, um, yeah, I'll keep it the way it is, I think. Just like this. So, I'm happy with all the chickens now. I've decided that I get more than enough chicken. So, I'm going to keep them the way it is. Um, and I can't remember talking about this or not, but... I had the floor flat here and I'd come here regularly f to dump a whole lot of stuff in here if I wanted something done quickly. Um, so I'd have to end up all through or jump around and it was a pain. Um, but I put like a dip in the floor now. Um, so it's cool. That works out well for me. I like that. Um, so this is my machine floor. It actually looks really cool from up here too. Up on my uh, lockable lockable thing. I only released this lockable floor, uh, the video for this room yesterday. So I haven't really gotten any feedback from that video yet, but um, nevertheless, uh, the machines weren't in that video when um, I did the recording for that. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. The machine floor is really neat. Um, this has been working out well, and I've been busy doing stuff out here. Really busy. I have a second gate. I have a fountain. We'll go look at that in a minute. Um, but this is where the villagers are going to go. Villagers are going to live there. And I even built them a gate. I was going to like do all this kind of stuff on camera. But I've decided to change my format. Because I tend to talk better about things. And be more interesting when I'm not trying to do stuff. I fail miserably at trying to do stuff. I'm missing glass here. I'll have to repair that. Um, so this is based off the desert temple, um, not the desert temple, the the wells you find in the um, in the deserts. It's sort of like a direct copy of that, except it is just a wee bit bigger, I believe. It's a wee bit bigger, um, and it's full of lava because we're in the Nether. This is kind of cool, and I thought this would be something that the the villagers could have built for um, slag fizz. Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, and Slag Fizz is almost like a mage, I guess. Ooh, we're going to go hunting. Boof. Skadoo. Skillity. Do we need to stop moving? Yeah, I got you good. And final shot. Ah, oh, they're pain. They are a pain. Damn they flying things. Really well. They do camouflage really well. I'm gonna go hunting now. <laughs> You're gonna die, and I want you dead. I've taken out a lot of the land around here too, so I'm sort of restricted myself. Ah, oh, you're kidding me! You can't be serious! It bounced off! Um, yeah, so I've cut back a lot of the nether and I've, um, <coughs> actually went about replacing the lava. So, it looks much, much, much more neater now. Really, really happy with it. I had a ghast attack here, so I'm missing, um, some, um, snow. I didn't have any snow slabs on me. 
Um, so yeah, so this is roughly based off the um, the, the desert well, um, with mm, slight modification to it. I'm really happy with it. It looks cool. It does look really, really cool. Um, the balcony's great. You can go out there onto the balconies, and it's totally and utterly ghast proof. So you can just hunt the ghasts and not worry about the fireballs coming through. And this gate works. Works really well. I made a small modification. Um, that switch there is now connected to a, a piston with a redstone block on it. It's rather than having a redstone line go through, it's, you don't notice the extra sound. Um, yeah, I'll probably make a modification to this gate. Actually, I'm do a tutorial on it. I'm gonna be doing that soon. But this matches the other gate perfectly. So this is the front of the gate. So you have to go into Slagfizz's Fortress from here. And I currently have this the way it is now. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be changing it so it transitions. Because the village is going to be made out of nether brick and andesite. Um, the grey stone. Yep. So that's what I've been up to. I've also cleared back some of the netherrack from here. That took a little while, and I've got some bits and pieces left over, but I'm pretty <coughs> sorry, but I'm pretty happy with what I have right here. Um, it's a pretty wide platform that I've got here, um, and I was going to build a wall all the way around it, but I sort of decided against it because traditionally um, villagers will live in an unwalled village, and if they want protection. Uh, during like raids and fights they go into the fortress and the the lord or the king or whoever it is protects them um, so they're not gonna have a wall they're gonna have like another they're gonna have a fence around here I don't know what I'm gonna do for that fence but they're gonna have a thing um, at some point in here I'm probably gonna have a uh, It'll look like the swamp biome, so it'll be really drab. But they're going to have like some trees and a garden and stuff and things. Um, and it'll be as gas proof as I possibly can. I've built the floor with half, um, bottom half slabs. So if we put blocks down, that'll be raised and odd looking. But that's fine because we can put um, another half slab underneath it to sort of fill the gap. And that again is to make sure the ghasts don't spawn out, out here. Because um, I'm pretty sure the villagers won't appreciate being blown up by a ghast. I don't think they will be attacked, but you never know. I haven't tested that. Um, I have not tested that. I've got um, some things happening on the Mushrooms and Marshmallows server where we uh, do all of our creative stuff. So that's all I've got for you right now. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to get cracking on the wall here I'm gonna put a wall in right here and I will be back very shortly guys there we go we've got the town hall the first thing what I have done is um, it's no I know it's gonna be really hard to see the roof on YouTube but it's um, a nether brick uh, roof it's stairs so that means it's spawn proof up there nothing's gonna spawn um, so no ghasts I have half slabbed the floor in here. I couldn't see a way to get around it. Um, and I'm not going to have bits and pieces to stop the gas from spawning. Um, so, um, but we've got iron bar windows. So the villagers can, would have trade was, traded with Slagfish to get their, their iron to make the iron bars. And they've, they would have traded for the glass. So, because this is their town hall, they would have splashed out a little bit more than normal, so it's a bit more special looking. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of cool. I don't mind it. It's pretty neat. Hopefully, I'm wondering, I'm really curious to see whether or not this registers as um, village doors. I don't think it will. I don't honestly think it will. Just put ordinary doors in there, it will. Well, it is ordinary doors. Oh. It's wooden Did doors. Different to um, what condition does? Yep. 
My texture pack changes the look, but this is these are dark oak doors. Uh, where are we? Dark oak doors. Yeah. So yeah, I, I kind of like it, and I've used stairs around the edges here because this is a half slab. Kind of just looks raised and odd. So the stairs, you can just sort of see the hitbox there. Um, it gives you the flat appearance here, but the stairs sort of has that nice little lip and it makes the house sit out just a little bit more. So I think that'll be a recurring theme around here. But yes, we've got a town hall, so you walk through the gates and the first thing you come across is indeed the, uh, the town hall. Um, I'm not liking having nothing here. It's kind of boxy. I might even put um, some half slab up to or something. How does that look? Yeah, it looks much better. From my point of view. Yeah, actually that's not bad. We'll quickly run this around. Run it around already. Uh, yeah, I know there's a ghast. Well, we have got enough. It's just gonna kill you in a few seconds. Um, is that good? Yeah. Ish. Yeah. I'll do this. Oh, boom. How How's many slabs does it take to... Actually, that's pretty cool. Ooh. How many slabs does it take to register as a full block? Uh, two slabs. Okay. I thought it was four. Obviously. That looks much better. There we go. It's kind of like a pizza hut building. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, that's cool. I like it. So we're going to have a blacksmith probably just over here. Uh, we're going to have churchy, priesty thing, because no doubt we'll have a priest. Um, and I'm not sure what else we'll have, but um, we're going to have like a well or something here in the middle. Um, so yeah. Anywho, I'll get back to you shortly. G'day. We're back. I have made a blacksmith. It's actually a little pokey thing and you know it's it it works. It gives the idea. It would be something I'd imagine that the um the villagers would build um in such a place. Just need a little bit of space to work with your anvil. You can get stuff from furnace, you can do some quenching over here because that's like a cauldron full of water for quenching. Um, a crafting table to do your stuff and things. A little bit of storage over there. Um, but yeah, so I've gone with an oak door over here. And more of the same of that theme. Um, last night I was showing Hessor this. And I actually had uh, nether brick fences here. Seriously, was totally unhappy with it. I was actually going to destroy the whole thing. But... Um, actually um, went with the, the iron bars and the iron bars worked out quite well because it works in well with this and we've only got a little bit of brick up here so um, you know it's kind of cool so I think this is probably going to be the mainstay theme for now it's actually kind of really working um, and you know the villagers would actually indeed be able to come through go use my mine come back again so it's not like um, it's not like they don't have access to something for this, so that's pretty neat. I put two villagers in just because I wanted to, um, and like I suspected, they don't register that as a village. Um, they don't register that as a building. I actually pushed him inside of there, and he left like thirty seconds later, or it. And there's a. Um, a butcher of some kind down here. Actually, what is it? We'll go have a quick look, see. Yeah, so they don't go into the buildings. He's a butcher. Yeah, so they don't go into the buildings, but that's fine. I'm happy. I'm fine with that, as long as they're in and around here. Um, and I've got a fountain. Well, not a fountain, a well here. 
Um, I put half slabs just underneath it. Um, so they're top bottom half slabs here, and this is a top half slab, just so the villagers don't get burnt. Um, you don't. Re it doesn't get in the way of the design at all. It's actually kind of neat. Actually, it suits it quite well. Um, it's a bit like what you will find in the um, in a pl village in the plains. Um, so the idea now is to build some buildings from regular villages, and I'm going to be building through here, and I'll be with this kind of theme, um, and the structure will be just the same as you'll find in a regular village. So yeah, but anyway, so that's the blacksmith, and the only other thing I've ah oh, actually I've done the fencing. Um, I thought this actually sort of hinges up the perimeter quite neatly. Um, it sort of yeah, I like it. I, I genuinely like it. So it keeps the villagers from falling down into lava. They can't get up over this because the fences registers are one and a half high. So it, you can't jump over it unless you've got um, unless you've got a jump beacon or a jump potion. So it's pretty neat. It's all neat. Um, yeah, but it tidies the whole area up. It looks. It works really well does genuinely work very well and over here I completed the wall as such and it actually looks pretty cool let's just zip over here squirt all right there we go yeah I like that I put the fence in just a little bit before just a few minutes ago um, now as for the gate I was talking to Hesor about this and he had a suggestion and he said to switch out the theme of the gate of the inside. It, this side of the gate needs to look like this because it's what everything here looks like. But um, the this side clashes heavily with uh, here. Purely because of the nether brick. The purple and the green just don't work together. They, they're very harsh. And I'm pretty sure if you look at a color palette, you'll find that the um, green and purple, or the blue purple aqua colors, are uh, opposite each other. So that's not a good move. Um, so I was, he said to switch out the theme here, but my only problem that I thought of is here. You're still going to have the gray and the um, whatnot button up against each other, the gray and the prismarine button up against each other and I can't swap this out because on the other side I need it here so I'm kind of stuck maybe I should have not built this gate but anyway it's in now so it'll stay there so maybe what I'll just do is keep the gate as it is and sort of change the this theme up maybe because I think if we've got uh, let's change you out quick does that look like? Mm, doesn't look too bad, actually. So maybe I'll put more of that in here. And I can change that out to regular die right there. So it's less striking. Because then it just limits this color palette to, to the gate. And maybe I can change that out to just this this wall. Anyway, so I'm going to ponder on that. Actually, I'll I'll leave it for now. Um, I don't want to jump into that one. So if you guys have a better idea on how to um, how to do that, then drop me a tweet or a comment, and I'll get back to you. Find a link to my Twitter account in on my uh, YouTube page there on the About tab. Um, yeah, kind of stuck. <laughs> I'll come up with something. I, I will. I usually do. Um, but anyway, guys, that's about all we've got time for today. Thank you very much for watching. I better go look at you guys, actually. Boom. Aha. Thanks very much for watching, guys. My name is Slagfizz. I'm your local bearded Minecrafter.